removing. I went through a lot of the shelters, um, you know, after Harvey hit, and it's it, it was very sad to see all these uh, children um, in the shelters. And um, um, I, I will take a look at the amending the Stafford Act. I think that's a very that's a very good idea. It's a very good idea. Um, I now recognize myself for uh, five minutes of questioning. Um, Mr. Clay, I'd, I'd like to um, kind of focus on sort of my backyard and yours. That's my state, that your state that got, Sheila's state that got hit. And um, this is kind of the, um, thought we had an easel, I'm sorry you got to hold that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> but so this is a map that I've shown to the governor and I've shown to the, actually the President of the United States when he came down talking about how the flood actually happened and Cypress Creek was supposed to be a, a levee system, but they never did that. It watershedded down to Barker Attics, then controlled spillage into uh, the neighborhoods downstream at 1.30 in the morning, which wasn't all that great. And then um, Buffalo Bayou, downtown Houston. So um, it seems to me, you know, uh, prevention, since this has flooded three times in the last two years, um, doing some of these flood mitigation projects is going to be absolutely essential, which is why we passed the supplemental uh, $90 billion supplemental bill to deal with some of these flood mitigation uh, projects. And, um, you know, I think, again, an ounce of prevention is a pound of cure. And so, and I know the governor sees this the same way. Now, when we've discussed this project, he um, agree with me that it would be the number one priority um, in the this, this state in terms of flood mitigation. Um, where is the governor on this? And I, I think you mentioned something about the first, your first three projects have now been approved. Can you tell me what those are? And then what, um, what in your view will happen with, I think, both the refortification of Barker Attics and also the third reservoir? Sure. Well, let me let me first say um, the governor completely agrees with you that um, in order to really rebuild after Harvey, you know, a large portion of what we're going to have to do is are these major scale projects that, um, as you mentioned, three floods in the last two years, major floods in the last uh, two years in Houston. They've actually had 26 since the year 2000 in Houston. So uh, and nine federally declared disasters in Houston. So projects of this scale are going to have to happen. Um, as for the announcements later today, uh, they're from the Hazard Mitigation Fund, uh, which is the uh, the money, it's about $1.1 $1 billion that we get under the Stafford Act as sort of a, um, you know, add-on. And they will be um, helping fund a study, a regional study in the Houston area for a watershed assessment uh, mm -hmm. to look at what we can do, particularly in sort of the Montgomery County, Northeast Houston area. Uh, it will be for home buyouts throughout the Harris County Flood Control District. Um, and it will be uh, to start the process engineering and study for dredging of the San Jacinto River. Um, as for the third reservoir, um, obviously it is a huge priority for the governor. Um, and it's our understanding that uh, we're gonna be able to get this off the ground by doing a study first and then hopefully follow it up with uh, because of because of your work and the appropriation follow up with getting it built right and and you know we got we we i think did our work in the congress we got 90 billion uh, appropriated um, army corps of engineer you know I, I, let me just uh, close because i know it's getting late in the day but I, I i look forward to continuing to work with the governor and in, in your office uh, sir uh, on making this a priority and i think getting army corps moving faster than they normally do uh, we put language in the supplemental that uh, requires them to expedite some of these projects. And, and um, we already had studies done on Barker Attics, but a, a study's never been done on Cypress. So that, that makes it even more critical to try to move forward as expeditiously as possible uh, so we can get it done. Because the study takes a while, the construction takes time, and I don't think this West Harris County you know, area can wait 10 years this yes sir and, and and let me let me say we completely agree with uh getting the army corps to move faster than it normally does the governor was here about three weeks ago and sat down with uh, general seminite and his team over there and so we're going to continue to work with them to make sure that this project and all the other ones that are needed um get done as quickly as possible okay and we're committed to, to working with you and, and and the army corps to make sure that happens likewise likewise 
Chair recognizes uh, Michelle Jackson Lee.